I don't use this word very often, but I've got to admit that this creature is astonishingly cute. The wonderful hazel dormouse. And that means that in my books, it's got an uphill struggle for credibility. If you're that good looking, you've got to be that good at something else. And it is that good at something else. It's a very valuable indicator as to the state of our woodland communities. And it also spreads seeds around, so it's playing a role there. I've got to say though, it's also in big trouble because these lovely little animals have disappeared from no less than seven of our English counties, primarily due to habitat fragmentation. Woodland once covered most of Britain, but now it's down to just 11%. And as our population increases, so does all of our infrastructure, crisscrossing all of those natural habitats. So why is this such a big issue for these dormice? Well, being arboreal, they rely on tree cover to get around. They avoid travelling on the ground as it makes them vulnerable to predators. Agile climbers, their ankles rotate to help them grip the branches. Their long fluffy tail helps keep them balanced. They're also nocturnal, and here is where we have some new insights to add. Research at Manchester Metropolitan University has shown that dormice vibrate their whiskers in front of them to guide their foot placement in the dark. It's known as whisking. They also use them to navigate gaps between branches. They use those whiskers to feel for the other side before leaping across, and anything over 15 centimetres is a real problem for them. You can only imagine the size of the gaps we're creating with our roads and railways, so it's no wonder they're becoming isolated in certain areas. The big question is, what can we do about it? Well, Brittlesford Woods on the Isle of Wight is one of the few places in the UK where dormice are thriving, so it's the perfect laboratory for working out how we might be able to help. It's managed by the People's Trust for Endangered Species. Ian White is their dormouse expert, and he's a man with a plan. So, Ian, what's the solution, then? OK, well, we know we've got a good population of dormouse here in uh, Brittlesford Woods. Um, so what we want to do is actually put up an arboreal structure that connects two areas of, of those woodlands to see if uh, dormice use it. But they've done this before, and they've attracted a lot of negative press on account of the fact that they were very expensive and they're not even sure dormice or other species use them. No, they're not. So that's what we're trying to address here, is let's put up a structure uh, and let's just demonstrate that it works. Um, and we have a, a design that dormice and other small mammals would use to cross a gap. So, so what's different about your bridge? How, how is this one going to work when all the others may have failed? Well, the design we chose was actually a design that um, has been used in Japan um, for the Japanese dormouse. I, mean, I think it was used about 800 times over three months by a variety of mammals. And there's also uh, tubes that hide and as they move across, they're not so totally exposed okay. to predators or the weather as they're up there. Excellent. Well, all we've got to do then is build it and put it up. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a go. So, go and do it now. All this for dormice. But if it works, it's going to be worth it. Proving that bridges will work for arboreal small mammals. Yeah, that's yeah. looking good. This was the arm that raised the bridge. Fantastic. Well done. Well, you've done a good job. It's up here now. Well, it's not exactly the Golden Gate or Clifton suspension, but it's a bridge of distinction. Absolutely. Is this the right time of year to be testing it, though, Autumn? Absolutely, because that's when numbers are highest, uh, because they're bred, uh, you've got juveniles dispersing, so actually they need to get out of the woodland where they've been born, and actually they can use this to, to expand into new areas. So, yeah, this is a fantastic time to, right, to try so it. so they're going to be on the move. But what do you think the chances of it being used before we go live are? Well, this is wildlife, so, uh, so who knows, really, in terms of we'll put cameras up, we can keep an eye on the bridge, see who's using it. It could be used by red squirrels here, by, by wood mice, and also by dormice, of course. But we'll see how we get on. What a combo that would be. Red squirrel and dormouse. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey. Yeah.